Moving on to our next story for the night, I want you to look at some pictures first. These pictures have taken the internet by storm. That was the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi in Lakshadweep, India's smallest union territory. He was seen snorkeling in the tranquil waters, also relaxing at a beach. And after this experience, he had a piece of advice for adventure lovers to add Lakshadweep to their traveling list. While Prime Minister Modi's pictures have broken the internet, one cannot help but admire the beauty of this place. The name Lakshadweep itself is quite fascinating, by the way. In Sanskrit and Malayalam, it means a hundred thousand islands. There are sun-kissed beaches, lush green landscape. The breathtaking views begin the moment you set foot there. Have a look at uh, all of this for yourself. This is the Agati Aerodrome, Lakshadweep's only airport. It has a one-passenger terminal and a single airstrip. And as you can see, the landing strip is surrounded by water. What's also striking is the resemblance between Lakshadweep and the Maldives. Both have pristine white sand beaches. Both offer beautiful coral reefs. There are luxury resorts to relax. You can also go snorkeling and see the diverse aquatic life. But there is one huge difference. If you are an Indian, it will be much easier for you to visit Lakshadweep, of course. So can this little archipelago replace the Maldives for Indians? It is for sure cheaper. Plane tickets will be lighter on your pockets. You will not need a passport and there will not be half as many tourists. While Lakshadweep does not lag behind in beauty, what, what it does lack is proper infrastructure. It is to, if it is to compete with the Maldives, it will have to step up its game. The port infrastructure is weak. For the longest time, it has relied on the mainland for essential goods. And when the sea turns choppy, it's difficult to ferry goods from Kochi and Mangaluru. There's also uh, the lack of healthcare facilities and educational institutions. But the government of India is set to address these issues. It is trying to provide houses, toilets, electricity and gas to poor households. Just a day ago, Prime Minister Modi lauded the found, uh, laid the foundation stone of development projects in Agati. These projects are worth over 1,150 crore rupees. That is more than $138,000. This includes a submarine optical fiber connection project. It will provide high-speed internet. A low-temperature thermal desalination plant has also been inaugurated. It will produce 150,000 litres of clean drinking water every day. A healthcare facility in Kalpeni will also be renovated. So far, visiting restrictions, the cumbersome process, little knowledge had kept the tourists away from Lakshadweep. But after the Prime Minister's visit, Lakshadweep might experience a boom in travel. When the Prime Minister was in Lakshadweep, Indians were busy googling about the archipelago. There were more than 50,000 searches about Lakshadweep in a single day. It was the ninth most searched word on Google in India. So what does this mean? Will Lakshadweep witness a boom in tourism? Will Indian tourists prefer flocking to Lakshadweep over the Maldives? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.